brighten up those dark mornings. Wheeler, Ollie, and Lecter. Mornings at the Cabin. Mornings at the Cabin, indeed. Wheeler, Ollie, and Lecter with you on your Friday morning. Mm -mm -mm. The last Friday, all of us will be here until the new year. That's right. I'm headed out on Tuesday. Lecter's headed out on Tuesday. Ollie's headed out on, like, January 5th or something. When are you heading out? Uh, 28th. The 28th. For and a he's month. not coming back till March 31st. March 31st. Yeah. Good My Lord. My God. Going to miss the... Uh, Gonna miss uh, the Arctic Winter Games and everything. Gonna miss oh, news. Gotta, gotta, gotta be out to win games. Oh, oh, oh okay. good. Okay. Good. Gonna be good. I, you know what? You, are we allowed to share what you shared in the group chat the other day? The picture. What did you share? What did I share? Uh, speaking of Arctic Winter Games. Oh no, no. <laughs> then <laughs> I, oh, off air, off mic, on the on mic. No good. No good. Well, I guess we'll just have to talk about something else. Well, we'll be there. This is, this I mean, is we'll be. I mean, our cabin radio will have a presence at the Arctic Winter Games. We can say that. We yes. can say that. We okay. can say that. Yes. We always do. Yes. Ollie working tirelessly to bring you the achievements of the young people in sports that in the Midwest Theater. That is shareable material. That is shareable material. Entirely Where? unclassified. Where's the AWG this year? UConn. White uh, Horse. Uh, okay. Whatever. I've never been to White Horse. I've never been. You know what? I've never been to White Horse. <laughs> <laughs> I know I crap on White Horse. It's kind God, of a run, White running gag. Yes, have yes. Not. Oh, no. I thought you have. No. I thought you went there with the, and kissed the toe with Nicole. No. No, no, no. <laughs> Kiss the toe no. with Nicole. And that's Dawson City. Oh, that was Dawson City. Yeah. So you've been to I the haven't U been there either. You oh. I haven't been to the Yukon in At all. general. Oh, wow. On this morning show, places we have not <laughs> been. Oh, it's right. going to be an exciting <laughs> roller coaster ride. Let's start with the A's. Albania. Mornings at the Cabin. The podcast. Bhutan. Uh, Djibouti, which starts with a D. No. Nope. No. Nope. Uh, Kazakhstan. No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, Uzbekistan. Okay, I feel like with with that area of the world, I don't know that any of us have been to it. <laughs> All the former Soviet republics. I've never been to any of them. Have you been to Russia? Yes. Moscow. No. Sochi. Yes. Oh, that's of course. Ah. Of course. Ah. Yes, where you were attacked by a gang of wild dogs. Yeah. No, they shot them all. It was great. That's right. They, 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 rolled, they left them in a pile outside glass. the hotel. It was I, all a my God. Weird. I remember you the first time you told me that story. And I'd heard it. I heard tell of these things. Morning to all the children listening. Sorry. Good Lord. Good Lord. Gloss over that. Parent. These were evil Gloss dogs. <laughs> these were evil, evil dogs. Start the glossing now. That's right. Fine. Fine. Yeah. Fine. Let's move from that to talk about a break-in. Um, Weaver and DeVore uh, almost got broken. Well, did get broken into mm -hmm. on Thursday morning. Uh, between three, so yesterday morning between three and three thirty, three people entered the building by breaking the uh, breaking a window and a glass door. Now this hits close to home for anybody who lives down there. But I mean, I grew up across the street from this place. This was my place to go for um, like a pop, a bag of chips, and a chocolate bar after school. Chips pop in a bar. Chips pop in a bar, bud. Wow, that's right. Uh, many a many a day, many a time spent in there, roving roving through and uh, knowing everybody there, and growing up across the street from it, of course. Uh, but um, yeah, however. The story has a happy ending because as they were, they, they went in, they pilfered, they, they threw a big pile of stuff together that they were going to yeah. take and they were well, all... Waddling back out, like wearing 27 Exactly, wearing 27, yeah. 27, walking like a penguin. And uh, as, they, as they walked out the building, a RCMP patrol happened by. <laughs> the timing was perfect. <laughs> what? Oh, it just it just it just makes Simpsons references happen in my head. Go ahead. Of someone, you know, them stumbling out the door yep. and like hitting their head on the wall and falling, and Chief just happens to be walking by. And <laughs> other two backup cops come like, ah, great job, Chief. Ah, just doing my job. Just yes, doing my job. <laughs> <laughs> so they uh, uh, did they catch everybody though? That I didn't. I, I I I'm not sure how many people there were. We know that were one three. person's been arrested and charged. One person's been arrested. Michael Sharp has been arrested. Um, other than that, I don't know. Okay. Well, there we go. Well, that's that's a nice that's a nice story. I mean, it's not nice that they broke in. A lot of break-ins happening, obviously, in, in town right now. Uh, Christmas tree stolen. Not really a break-in. Uh, guitar stolen. Also, not really a break-in. But <laughs> more, more of a walk-in. <laughs> more of a walk-in while it was open. <laughs> more not of, even more not even a break-in enter. Just a theft. Um, the door was open. Three people were in. It, it in was definitely <laughs> an enter. <laughs> Three there people. Was no it was no break. It was an enter. That's right. Now, what is that? Is that that's not? It's not a. That's not a charge, though. Is it? It's just theft. Technically, I suppose it's trespass if you didn't I invite suppose, somebody yeah. in. Although mm -hmm. the office was open with people in it, so. Well, I mean, you can still trespass. You can still like 
you can still tiptoe onto a like secret nuclear site just because they happen to be working there. But like, if it was, I, there were guards But if there, it was it secret, was that would denote the trespassing. We're not secret. The door was open. We have a pretty Shh. open door policy. Shh, don't tell. Okay, so pardon me. Pardon me. <laughs> um, broadcasting from the secret cabin radio studios deep it, in the heart of oh, Yellowknife's geothermal oh, dungeons. I thought we were going to tell them we were in Uzbekistan because I thought we set that up perfectly. They'll Live from Uzbekistan. Um, get that story at cabinradio.ca. Uh, good on good on the RCMP for stumbling into that one. I mean, that's one of those that's one of those uh, not fated things, but just like it's one of those things that makes you makes you kind of consider all the decisions you make in a day. I know it maybe not for you guys, and maybe it does for me. <laughs> what? But so like, hang on, hang on, no, 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 no wait, wait, had they, wait. Had they <laughs> spent five extra minutes at Tim Hortons getting their morning coffee, then they wouldn't have caught them. You oh, know I what see. I mean? Like, had they stopped a little extra time at a stop sign, they wouldn't have caught them. Mm. I thought you meant that it was making you reflect on maybe not stealing from Weaver and Divorce. Also tonight. that. Also that. Maybe think about your life choices. Maybe. maybe. I mean, we've all thought about it. But had they had, had the had the thieves not taken so so much time to pile up so much stuff, they would have gotten oh, away. Oh, now with we're it. judging the quality of their work. That's right. Well. <laughs> had they not been so greedy, yeah. they would have been fine. I mean, impeccable timing is absolutely right. It says it right there in the story. Impeccable timing. And that's that's what, I mean, it just kind of everything fell into place for that particular moment and now those people will rot in prison um <laughs> is that too much <laughs> probably a smidge <laughs> smidge over the line well, they gave merry it back christmas. <laughs> merry, merry christmas you're going to jail Kevin now, Radio, where mean, we believe in rehabilitation <laughs> we do in prison i'm sorry a little dark let's make them fix that window yeah for we'll God's forgotten. fix yeah that's right that's how we should <laughs> handle all these things just fix it and it'll be done uh yes like get that story at cabinradio.ca is it in the news as well? It is in the news as well. It is in the news as well. Mornings at the Cabin, the podcast where we cut out all the great music and you're left with the rest. Wheeler, Ollie, and Lecter with you on your Friday morning, snuggled up warm by the fire. That's right. All under the same covers. Mm-mm. It is warm under here. It's fleecy. Mm. It can make a little room no. for the rest of us. No, no, no. no. No, I have to manspread under these, <laughs> under these blankets. <laughs> as we all know... Uh, a precious, beautiful blue guitar was taken from us the other day. And uh, we did hear tell, though, after we posted the story, that someone's, someone's kid saw some guy in the mall with it. And apparently he was trying to lure children with it. Because the, kid, the oh, guy was like, great. come play the guitar. Mm. And the kid played it. And then there it goes. We also have a report of it at the library yeah. that day as well. Wonderful. That guitar has been making the rounds. So if you see someone carrying a guitar around, like without a strap or a case, or chances and, are they're a musician, and, but they might also have stolen it. No, from us. no, a musician <laughs> would have a case and probably a guitar strap. Uh, I don't know those musicians; they're pretty sketchy. They are bad sketchy. At planning that's ahead. true. Well, how you're not just gonna? I mean, not in the dead of winter, carrying it around just by the neck. <laughs> ah, Slung over your ah, my guitar. I respect my instruments. Um, and I know it's hard for someone to approach somebody and be like, is that yours? <laughs> but I mean, I don't know. He's a little suspect. I don't know. Just dude walking through the mall. Anybody want to play this guitar? Now, we've had we've had a little fun with, like, you know, the actual value of hey, that guitar. a lot of fun. But I was just thinking now, yeah, if someone's walking around with it, like, slung over their shoulder mm -hmm. out in minus 35 weather, getting yeah. from place to place, yeah. that thing is probably warped by now. Yeah, probably. And probably unplayable. Well, we'll see. When we get it back, we'll find out. We should replace it with a new instrument. Yeah. I think we should. Absolutely. What kind of instrument? Um, You know, I've always wanted to learn how to play the theremin. Oh, there you go. There you go. I thought those were the things we exuded in order to lure members of the opposite or any sex. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no? Can't play theremins? Just keep going. <laughs> what if I waft them in your general oh my, direction? Oh my god, your theremins are driving me crazy. Um no, the theremin is the is the frequency machine. It's basically just a, a it looks like a block of wood with a metal pole coming out of it, and then you stick your hands in the general vicinity of the so, instrument. So hang on. Yep. Try my theremins, baby, I'm a frequency machine. Wow. No? You are on fire this morning. That's very good. That's why it's very warm good. under here. <laughs> god. What what You're breaking him. Uh, what would you? What would? What would you like? <laughs> I think. I think that was the wrong Ted. <laughs> I think. I think I've broken him. 
Yeah. Lecter, what, 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 what instrument would you like? Well, we've been given a potential <laughs> replacement. Have we? Yeah. Someone gave it to us or wants to give it to us? We've been offered. Offered. So at 9 o'clock this morning. Yes. An auto harp is going to arrive at Cabin Radio. Why does it have to uh, so late? We could be playing it right now. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's an auto harp. That's an These auto things harp. are awesome. There we go. Amazing. That, it landed. It's like a big guitar kind of it's a guitar. <laughs> guitar. It's a guitar. Uh, wow, beautiful. Yeah, it's not an actual harp. Well, I, did, I mean, it I did, is kind of a harp. I did. Kind of, I, yeah. It is kind of a harp, but it's not. When, when I was initially, I had an email yesterday from this wonderful human being. So, Erin Sulia said, got yeah. in touch yesterday and said, like, well, I, I've been looking for a home for, for the auto harp, and I wondered if you guys would be interested. Yes. And and I did have to go and look up what an auto harp was. And, mm-hmm. and I did initially have this just like full size harp somewhere in the reception area. Oh, like, beautiful. That'd be amazing. Like, on the plus side, yeah, that is going to be harder to steal. Because yep. it's yep. going to be, right. yep. I do not think many people are going to be able to get a harp downstairs yep. well, and here's the without thing. us noticing. About the auto harp, if someone's just walking through the mall with an auto harp or into the library, somebody could actually be like, Pardon me, what are you doing with that? <laughs> <laughs> it's not as conspicuous as, say, a guitar. Yeah, yeah. or inconspicuous, I should say. <laughs> yeah. um, Walking through the mall with a guitar, yeah, okay, fair enough. With an auto harp, yeah, yeah. that seems absurd. What I was thinking an auto harp was, it was actually a dulcimer. But I'm going to add that to my theremin. <laughs> okay. yeah. It's also a stringed instrument. Well, the, th- the theremin is not a stringed instrument. It's a frequency right. instrument. Yeah. It's, like a, it's like a synth. It's a, synth- yeah. it's a synthesizer. Um, so a, a dulcimer is a smaller stringed instrument that you play on your lap. Okay. You're going to have to Google that one, too. It's right there. Um, <laughs> I can't see your screen. <laughs> well, that's awesome. So we have dulcimer. an auto harp coming. I think we should sign it. We should all sign it. I, I think I think it's not our auto harp. So we oh, probably I thought can't... they were giving it to us. I think it, it might be uh, an, a loaned exhibit. Oh, I see. I don't, I see. I don't so... think we're necessarily just being handed an auto harp. And told donated, to what the, you will. donated to Cabin Radio for this exclusive... I, I think the idea is that it just gets to hang out somewhere cool. Fine. So don't put a cab and radio sticker on don't it. Don't put a cab and radio sticker on okay. it. Don't let someone random walk out of the building with it. Those, can we please stick to those two rules? <laughs> well, we're 0 for 1 on that. Let's try to go 1 for 2. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we will try. Maybe just put a string on it or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or gonna... a bell. Like put a, somebody put a freaking <laughs> bell on that guitar. Or on the door. On the door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Most places. I mean, that, that would be a great idea to have uh, some yeah. sort of. I mean, it's all it's a very small space, so I mean you'd think one of us would notice you, that we're walked in. There'd just be a shift in the energy or something, but mm. nope. No. No. A doorbell would be would be good. Yeah. Well, I mean it's it's better than the electric fence we have up now, which is I will be honest, was quite the shock. And the rabid Penelope. <laughs> yeah, you know, what a disappointing god dog that was. <laughs> <laughs> she really nips at your heels though. Um well wonderful. Nine o'clock, auto harp, yeah. cabin radio. I'm going to learn to play it. Can we play it? I'm, I'm sure we're allowed to play Yay! It. I'm told it was restrung recently, so it's ready to go. Oh, right, right on. Well, I'm a little high-strung this morning, so let's do this. The Mornings at the Cabin podcast was recorded before a sort of live, thankfully not in the studio, audience. Wheeler, Ollie, Lecter, and Sarah with you to start off the second hour of MATC, starting right now, a little, a couple minutes past eight. Minus 31, it's gotten warm enough that the computer's telling us what the temperature is. So, you know what? Just go out there in some shorts, bud. I think it should just take the day off. Ah, take the day off. Yeah. I, I, and, you know, <laughs> Our computer, not as, not people. You go as, to work. Oh, I see. As close as I am to my vacation, I am tempted to be like, you know what? I'm good. I'm, I'm done until I come back. <laughs> you going to come in Monday? Of course. Okay. I'll probably come in Tuesday. Wow. You're not going to. No. No. Well, you leave at like 6. I don't yeah. leave till 1.30. Okay. So. So I'll probably come in that morning. So no excuses. Well, plenty of excuses. <laughs> <laughs> There's always excuses. Um, is this? Is this? Are we going to make this part of the Christmas music panel, or are you just going to play this? Uh, I'm just going to play this. Scott's Sorry, been working. my computer just like winked off for a second. Oh god, that was the end of everything. lecture has been working on a little something uh, dedicated to uh, a near and dear friend uh, of Sarah and all of us here at the cabin, Hippo. Who's got a big day. Big day. Going to the forever home. Sarah, tell us about Hippo. Um, so I've had Hippo, um, whose new name is now Aspen. Um, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, his owner told me that she didn't like Hippo, and I was hurt. So. House Hippo. 
House hippo. House hippo, hungry hippo, yeah. Um, I've had them for about two months. It's been uh, yeah. quite a while. He's seen his other foster siblings come and go. Mm-hmm. Um, he's just still trucking along and no. living at my house. <laughs> and it's his big day. And now it's his big day, yeah. Around between five and six tonight, he's going to go uh, to his new home. Oh. Um, where he can uh, keep his new owner up all night. Yeah. So, <laughs> so go hippo. Way to go hippo. Well done. All he well says, done. I do a very bad job of selling him as like, a great <laughs> puppy. It was, when, <laughs> it was when you were there and you were telling Gert, so, so Gert comes over to take a look at, at, at hippo. And and you're there going like, yeah, well, these uh, these last six applications fell through. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say Not a good that. Sale. Can't Not a think good sale. why. Yeah. I feel like I have to be honest. You know, they have to know what they're getting no. themselves into. No, yeah. you're in no. sales. That's uh, <laughs> the last thing you want to do is be honest. This dog. This dog. Well, speaking of uh, promoting Hippo in a, in a, in a possibly negative fashion, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you caught some audio, what was it, about two weeks ago or so, mm-hmm. and you just sent me an email out of the blue, and you're like, hey, here's uh, here's some audio of Hippo crying if you, <laughs> if you want to make it into a song. Now, Gerda, Gerda, if you're listening and you just adopted this dog, this is a long time ago, very long time ago, almost a totally different dog now, this could never happen again. It's too and late anyway, Gerda. This was taken right after Kodiak, that other puppy I had left, and he yeah. was all alone in the crate Aww. again, so this was like his first night with no one to snuggle with. So. Oh, so he, was, he was having a hard time. Oh, so we got, baby. this is the audio of... Hippo just. Oh, little hippo. Got a very interesting. <laughs> so that was hippo. Yeah, just kind of losing it. Um, all er, Penny is very interested. Hi, Penny. Um, I, I just. <laughs> she likes my nose. All right, all right, all right. We're we're, like, uh, we're we're driving people. People and their dogs wild across the other. Well, if you think that drove your dog wild, then, uh, well, I went into the studio last night and I made good. Made it a little Christmas song, of course, and now it's a Christmas send off. (laughs) As Jesse Jesse, snuggles Penny. Jesse's paying no attention. (laughs) Jesse's cuddling. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, so we thought it'd be fun if we did a little little Christmas send off for Hippo because, of course, uh, he's got a very. Jesse, pay attention. This is (laughs) (laughs) He's got a very unique bark, as you heard there, a little bit. So I thought there's something we could do with that. Yeah. And so I thought, you know, it's a very harsh sounding tone. As if, you remember Finnegan's uh, Bad yes. Dog album, of course. So good. That I think may have inspired Hippo a little bit here. It was very like whiny, very bluesy, his style. Mm-hmm. Hippo was a little more, more, a little more like, yeah, a little more rock. A yeah. Little more, little more heavy metal. Yeah. So uh, Give her. think of Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Ooh. So here you go is Hippo's debut Christmas song, Trans-Siberian Orchestra, and Carol of the Bells. Oh, hippo. If I didn't know any better, I would say that dog was being hurt. I, I was going to say that. Yeah, <laughs> like, we should maybe when it put a high pitch. <laughs> like, let's keep this very clear. This is this is hippo yowling because his sibling is is gone. His, yes. his kennel buddy is gone, and he that's is where all sleep the training. That's sleep where training. all the best music comes from is your inner anguish. That's right, right. and that's there it is. Goethe, enjoy your adopted dog. <laughs> 
Yeah. We are going to be in here on Monday saying, well, the seventh application uh, didn't get to the <laughs> and, Oh, my goodness. That was incredible. So congratulations well done. and Merry Christmas, Hippo. Merry Christmas to Hippo. Yeah, that and is amazingly done. That is oh, like very so well good. done. Put that up so on the Christmas good. music panel. I'm giving the, you know what? Don't even put it up on the Just put it in. It's got a ho 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 from all of us. I don't know if anyone wants to hear that again. I oh. I don't. But uh, you I'd know. like to make people listen to it again. Like, <laughs> right. send, me, send me the file. I will play it for That's my right. family. Yeah, there you go. Done this is what done. I had to deal with. All right, we will uh, go hang out with Hippo uh, as Aspen, his new name. No, no, nah, Hippo. Breakfast cereal in Hippo. the UK just makes him sound like a it's a, it's a breakfast cereal or two. Is it okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, you don't have cocoa pops here, and it frustrates the living daylights out of me. You can anyway. get Hippo O's. No, never mind. No, nice try. Nice try. Uh, Hippo nuts. But we'll go hang out at the fire hall uh, in the new year. And we'll see uh, if we can hang out at the fire hall and, and spend some time Absolutely. with him in his new job. Beautiful. Yay, Wonderful. Hippo. Well done, Hippo. Well done, Sarah. I'm sure you've heard this a lot, but uh, well done on you for taking in all these all these foster pups and, and <laughs> helping them find home. Remember to start when you were like, Ollie, it's got to be two days. It's got to be two days. That's all it's got to be. Now, it's been two long, months. Two months. Two months. Two months. Two months. How many puppies have you? Have you? Three. Three. You've had three. Yeah, How I've had you him helped, the whole time. You've helped three find homes, so good on you. Well done. And uh, Lecter, uh, yeah, yeah, pretty good. The Mornings at the Cabin podcast. I don't know how many of you know who Dan- Danny Aiello is, but a very famous actor. A lot of movies uh, that I saw growing up as a kid, including The Godfather, but also Do the Right Thing. What? <laughs> what are you giving me a look for? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we were talking about it before, and I don't recognize him at all. I know you don't, but um, I do. And, I, and so I looked up his, his IMDb page quickly, yeah. and uh, yeah, it said Godfather Part 2. Part 2, yeah. And I thought it was Fredo at first. No. It's not Fredo. It's not Fredo. You don't even know who he was. I've never even seen The Godfather Part 2. <laughs> uh, good stuff. No, I only mentioned that because you mentioned it. I don't remember him from The Godfather. Oh, but okay. uh, I do remember him from Do the Right Thing and Harlem Nights and a few other things. But uh, a fairly prolific actor. Hasn't been acting in a very long time. Passed away. 86 years old. Oh. I want to pass that information along to all you Diane- Danny Aiello fans including the president of the Danny Aiello fan club, who lives right here in Yellowknife. Is it you? No. Oh. Um, but also some uh, happier news to pass along. This, uh, this story at cabinradio.ca. I don't know if you guys remember, but back in September, the Cabin Radio team auditioned for Family Feud Canada. Now, they told us to stuff it, but <laughs> the Hernandez family, Godson and co., they were there as well, and they did excellent. They were wonderful, and they got the call. They got to go do it. They went and filmed in Toronto a few weeks ago. What? Excellent? No, 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 no. They were they, the worst. They team are there. excellent. They are they, excellent. They candidates. are inherent. They are inherent, inherently excellent. <laughs> they are garbage at the sh- at the game. Absolute garbage. But they did get the call and they did go and film. And their episode will be airing December thirtieth at seven thirty on the CBC or the CTV. I can't remember which. Uh, I think it's the CBC. It is the CBC. Family Feud Canada premieres December 16th. Their episode will air December 30th. That story at cabinradio.ca. But Godson started sharing this a couple days ago. Very exciting. Can't wait to see them. Uh, I actually ran into Noel Hernandez the other day. Mm -hmm. And I was like, how'd you guys do? And he's like, well, I can't really say anything. I can't really say anything. Cool, cool, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, we talked about the audition process. And he was like, well, we were just terrible at the game. And I was like, (laughs) you really were. (laughs) And then apparently before they left... They had a little, they had a little get together, a little do yeah. at the racket club. Yeah, yeah. And they set it up for them. We set them up a, a mock game. Yes. Which they also lost. <laughs> <laughs> they lost every game at the racket club mock up too. So <laughs> I asked them if they won any games, and uh, and they, they was just like, "Oh, I don't know if I can share." And then we recounted the audition process. And uh, and, and the, the the racket club mock up and. Um, yeah, so they didn't win any of those either. Um, and I ran into little Jay at the source. Uh, not at the source, pardon me, at Roy's Audio. And uh, asked uh, the same sorry. thing. Little Jay? Little Jay? <laughs> and uh, asked the same thing. And she was kind of like, oh, I can't really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> CBC Gnome is just going to pop out of I, nowhere. And... I can't. I mean, I can't wait to see it. I don't think they won a game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put it out there. Don't think they won, but we know, we know they had a good time because they are just, they, they had so much fun at the audition and they're so much fun. They're like a lot of big personalities 
And of course, like Godson, Godson knows the game. Yeah, he knows how to do it. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, so we're very, very excited to see that. Uh, looking forward to seeing that December thirtieth on the CBC. And of course, we were told in the auditions. Obviously, that process being a little different, but we yeah. were told then that like the game. It doesn't really matter if no. you win or lose. It's just you just got to be entertaining. Well, that's yeah, all they're looking. That's for. That's right, and they were entertaining. And yeah. Apparently, the cabin radio crew, not so much. So they might um, not win a game, but they will win the country's hearts. Well, you got to without hope so. question. You got to hope so. Because I mean, if you're not going to win the game, hopefully somebody likes you. Because otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, they did go to, get get to go down there for a few days. Yeah, free trip to Toronto. Yeah, you know, beautiful. We're still in the in the vault there. That's right. They said <laughs> we didn't get in for the first season, but they said we're always looking for new families. That's right, which is That's exactly right. what they tell you at auditions when you did not get a part. It's like we'll keep you in mind for other things. Thanks, thanks. So if they do another season, or maybe they have a bunch of dropouts, you never know. Maybe there's a bunch of families that can't go. Hmm. So like you know what? Let's tap that crew. I couldn't help but feel like when, in the days leading up to them taking off to Toronto yes. and, uh, and and shooting their episode or episodes mm. of Family Feud. I'm going to go after episode. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help but think, like, this family's going to get, like, picked up for something A else. reality TV show. Yeah. Yeah. Like, something. Why not do a reality TV show of a family in, in Yellowknife? Absolutely. Absolutely have a Hernandez family. Oh, there it is. CBC. I mean, reality show. Chevy and CBC. Very tight. Yeah. There you go. The man I, I look forward to that happening. That Next would be year. very cool. Yeah. That would be very cool. <laughs> the ins and outs of the Hernandez family and all the drama there is. <laughs> but check out that story at cabinradio.ca and be sure to tune in. Yell Knifers on the CBC on a national game show. It sounds pretty awesome. December 30th at 7.30. Thanks for listening. Check out more from the show at cabinradio.ca and by following the Mornings at the Cabin Facebook page.